Okay, this is part two of uh, filling this um, blank journal. Um, I, I'm leaving that there for now. I'm not sure whether that's going to stay there, but I'm just going to leave that. That's where I finished off putting the lace on here. Um, I've got this left over from um, what I made for the other journal, but I didn't use it. So I thought that could go there as a, a bit of a tuck spot. Yeah, so we have a bit of a tuck spot there and then put something in there. That can, yeah, I like that. And you can actually put something in there as well. But I like the way that looks because of that behind it. So I shall keep that the same. All right, so we can tuck something behind there. Hmm, I found that as well. And I'm going to use that. <laughs> I keep finding bits that are left over from the other journal which is great let's see what I've got here that's too big oh actually I'm just wondering I might cut that down yeah so that's I'm gonna put that so it's sticking out there so I only has to cut a bit off of the top and the bottom so I'll go ahead and do that and back it we've got a sample tag Right, so I've done that tag, popped it in there, and then I thought, nice piece of lined paper down there. And I think I put a bit of washi tape along here. I thought the Tim Holtz one would be nice, the butterfly one. I go just above where we can put the date there. And that can go there. There we go. And that little bit of green, I've got a bit of green and blue here. Oh yeah, because I've just um don't laugh everybody. <laughs> I was doing, you know, I said I was doing my freehand free motion on my machine and I was practicing you know doing the swirly pattern then it's not very good but I have I did carry on with it okay and I thought oh I had this just lying around that I haven't finished so I thought oh why not make that into a cover for this journal and I'm going to call this one hope okay yeah so there it is and this is where I got these little bits from from there where I ripped it down so I, had, I thought well, I'll use them up it's not it's a little bit skew with and everything but I've done it so there we go <laughs> and it was good practice and I thought when I practice I do want to make it into something I just don't like just practicing and leaving it so you know I just done a square and well a bit oblongy and I thought oh I'll just make it into a cover <laughs> And there it is. So, another one. I love the feel of it, though. It's really padded. It's really nice. So, anyway. No, I won't be doing a tutorial on that. <laughs> Please look on YouTube if you want to learn how to do it. Because, like I said, I, that is my first time I've ever tried. So, yeah. But hopefully I improve. That's all I can say. And have a little bit more control. But I'm getting there. Right, what should we do next then? Right, oh yeah, I've got these. I printed on my laser. I thought, oh, I'll pr try printing on these envelopes. And yeah I'm, yeah, I'm quite happy with it, but it wouldn't, it, oh, they wouldn't go in straight. So I had about, I'd done two, and they're both the same, and I don't like the border. But I'm going to cut it down and make some kind of tuck spot with it. I think yeah I am because I can cut it down to get rid of this except for that bit there or I could yeah I'm gonna cut it down first okay and I'm gonna use this as a pocket I think that's what I'm gonna do right right so here we go so I'm going to glue that down there and we have a nice pocket but I'm just gonna I'm gonna stitch around this and all the way around here 
before I stick it down and then we can tuck something nice in there. I think I might centralise that and have something sticking out of here as well as something visible through that pocket there. And that still looks quite nice, even with nothing in it. Yep. Okay, that's all done. So let's stick that in. Oh, and I've made um, a book page on these. Okay, I had it hanging around here. So that's, I've made that to fit in, in the pocket and just bit of extra writing paper there so that will hopefully fit <laughs> normally don't do things like that till after but I saw it as I was doing this oh and I, I put a bit of washi tape to reinforce that edge where you go in and out the pocket right, I'm not going to leave it in there because it will get stuck but yeah that's gonna that's gonna fit in yeah lovely so what I do is I'll just Pin it there and then we can carry on. That's all right. This is what I do now. I tend to sort of flick through and it what it does, it sort of gives me quite a, a feel of what's going on. So I sort of flick through, have a little look. Yeah, well, sometimes I think of what's going on because it's sort of going into greens now. There, a bit more green here. Okay, I think we need um, what we're doing here. That's up top there. We need actually something up here. So I think I'm going to do a corner tuck here because we've got a lot going down here, but not there. So we need some kind of something going on there with a bit of padding so all I'm going to do there is one of the corner tucks and then maybe put an embellishment on it and then that will bring it up which I will do that was just a piece of coffee stain paper it's just plain yeah uh, I just fold over a third really and then that will go like that and that's all I do okay stitched around all that so that is going to go up there and I stitched it so I've got a tiny little pocket here okay to put a ticket in or something and I'll just do those corners there I think it was Rita Donnelly who started all this off these corner pockets, the corner flips, you know, they've um, sort of progressed to different things now, but I do remember that because they call it the Rita Donnelly flip. <laughs> oh, she's lovely. All right, let's make sure that's sitting. So I'm going to just uh, come in a little bit there. Not quite right. anything hangs over the page like that I just cut it off carefully <laughs> okay. but if you make a mistake get your ink in there now because that fits in there lovely okay so again I can't put anything under there yet until that that's dry dragging all my stuff around right so we've got to do a little something here um ooh, bit of that green I'm not sure about that yet but I need a little ticket for the top um, not sure about that one. That one might be right. It's a double one actually, but
I might just put a bit of lace there, you know, and do that. I like that butterfly, that green one there, it's nice. Okay, all right, we're running out of space, aren't we? Oh, I have that. Click on there, but I actually quite like that over there. Okay. Oh, I don't know what kit that's from. Might be back to nature or something like that. Not sure. I just I really, you know, most of my things are from kits that I've got lying around. So but I'm not sure about that. Right. Urgh, we want something here, don't we? I don't know what tags I've got in here. No, oh, that's too big. So I've got these tickets as well. No. Tag. Okay. All right. Let's have a look. See what we got. Plainish, really. I'm looking. I'm thinking plain. I think that might go actually. I've got that bit of orange in here. Yellow. Uh, yeah. I'm going to stitch around that, like the other one, and put some lined paper on it. Here we go. That's that one done. Yeah, I'm liking that. So, onward here. So, because we know we're going to definitely have that there to hold that. So, we need to put something there. This is definitely going to have some lace on. Don't know how much I've got left of the, oh yeah, sorry. I have got more of this, I've just got to go and get it. I'm gonna put that there straight away. And here, I'm going to put a bit of that nice blue washi tape. Right, what have we got for here then? I know it's a dragonfly, but do you know what? That is actually going in there. That's 
going to go somewhere too. This is a dragonfly kit. Well, I had just had loads of bits left over. And this is from this kit here. There's some blue butterflies there. Oh, Tracy's. But that is going to go there. Just put them on the top so I remember to use them. In there, so I'm going to cut that down and then that can stick in there. Okay, that's all done. And then I've got some of this vellum that I had left over from the other journal, and I just stitched black around there just to make it look like it's been stitched on. Oh, I meant to ink up the edge there. Why I stitch around it is so you can't see the glue. When you stick it down, okay. and I will put something bigger in there. Yeah, I'm going to make that into a tag. Let's have a look. If I cut that off, perhaps. Oh, maybe a bit less. Maybe nearly a full page then. Yep, I'm going to do that. Okay, that's all done and put the lines on the back and then stamped a little butterfly there and that will sit in there. Okay, quite happy with that. Just that bit of white here. It's not really white but looks like it. This one is going to be glued in there, so I shall do that now. Now we've got another tuck spot, haven't we? Which is great. So th these were made in the challenge, which I will link below. Sequin there. I usually put a bit of glue, more glue on where there's fabric, you know, that's hidden. <laughs> because um, it does tend to lift if you're not careful. right down there sometimes you just oh, with things like this you need to put clips on as well just for a minute just to hold that on a little bit better like, especially on the corners there oh, sorry I need to do it with my left hand <laughs> certain things I can't do even though I am left-handed but there's certain things I can't do I I am left-handed but I can use my right as a lot of you have noticed um, but sometimes it's just odd little things that I'm thinking oh, oh that's just not right so I have to then use my left I think it's when I'm over this way I'm so used to swapping hands I used to play badminton and I used to, <laughs> it was really funny and I used to start off right handed and then swap halfway through <laughs> everybody's got confused I used to win quite a lot doing that actually because <laughs> they get used to your name don't you know, the way you play don't they and they think, right time to swap now I'm getting beaten <laughs> okay so I keep that in right what are we going to do here then um, it has been gessoed, um, sort of 
feel like I want some kind of flip now. Oh, is that going to stay in there or is that going to move? So when this happens, I clip it in here. Okay, which I'm going to do because it really does annoy me when they float around. fine. I'd rather that than it floating around. Okay, cover that over. <laughs> Disguise. Right. I think I'm going to do all three this time. I'm rubbing this one because it's actually very dry. Oh, missed a bit there. Hey ho. Yeah, it's because it's lumpy. That's all right. Not too bad. Okay, that is fine. Just gonna put some butterflies. I need some little ones. Yeah, let's go here. So we'll start that as we look. I reckon we will finish actually. So I'll leave that here today. Okay, and yeah. And we'll go on to that the next time. Envelopes already done. Tutorial on that. Beginning of the other series I've done on the blue butterfly. So definitely we haven't got a belly band. So tickets, belly band preps. Actually that, that looks quite nice, doesn't it? There, right. <laughs> I won't double them over. I'll back them with cards and then um, put it as a belly band. There. I can't remember where I see that. Somebody done that actually. But I really can't remember. It could have been Carol. I'm not sure. But anyway, if you remember who it is, just please put it in the comments. Okay. So there we go. Right, so I'll see you soon then. Okay, bye for now.